Hey, how's it going? You know what happened to me today? <laughs> no, of course not. I'm going to tell you. Here's the deal. I'm going to start off by saying I take full responsibility for what happened. It's my fault. I thought I had things handled, and I did not. This is why scheduling and being exact is important. I had a tool for my business that I was using, and I haven't touched it in months. I don't, I don't even recall when the last time I logged in, but I haven't used it. I just, it was something I got for an experiment and well, apparently it didn't work out that well or I didn't want to use it because I haven't. And I get up this morning and I roll out of the bunk and I look at my phone and here's an email with a several hundred dollar charge for this tool. Yeah. I knew immediately what happened. It, I, I knew it. Because it was a charge at that much money. It was a yearly charge. And when I thought I had it handled and I wasn't going to have to worry about it anymore, I, I was wrong. I did not have it handled. And they just auto, did an automatic billing. Now, I've been burned by this before. This is not the first time I've made this mistake. The last time was several years ago, which is why I thought this one was handled. When you sign up for something, matter of fact, let me, let me go at this from a different angle. Let's say that you have a yearly subscription to one of your tools or coaching program, whatever it is that you're putting out. Don't ever, ever take money out of someone's account a freaking year later without a courtesy notice saying hey guess what we're about to drain your bank account or <laughs> at least have a charge that you don't expect that's fairly large and here it comes if you don't want it be sure to go over here and cancel this we don't want to bill you if it's if it's something you don't want that's if you're the business owner okay now if you're the knucklehead like I was ensure that you make an alert and a calendar for every tool that you have for every program because if you're anything like me you're gonna have a lot of them and they're gonna change from time to time and especially if you have a uh, long I mean a year who's gonna remember in a year you've got to set it up to where you have an alert that's gonna show up to let you know hey bro you're gonna get this big charge if you don't want it cancel it I have this other program and the guy's a monthly charge and it's not that much, it's like 50 bucks. Every month, every single month, this guy sends me an email that says, hey, I just wanted to let you know your recurring billing is gonna show up. It's gonna be this much money. It's gonna come out on this day. If you don't want the thing, make sure you cancel. But if you do want it, don't do anything. Everything's gonna be fine or something like that. And I totally appreciate that. I, I don't, most of the time I don't have to pay attention to it or anything, but it's, it's very helpful to me as a knucklehead when it comes to certain things to give that reminder. So, first of all, it, you got to take responsibility for everything that happens. And second of all, if you're going to have a recurring billing, warn people, no matter how much it is or how, how long it, it goes for. Well, I got one that's 10 bucks. And this is from a, a female entrepreneur. Hers, she, I don't get a recurring notice. And I don't know, I don't think I would cancel it. That one's kind of a toss up. I don't know if you, you must do it at that point, but I, I realize what the reason behind it as a business owner, because you want to make sure it's a recurring payment. You don't want people to be reminded to cancel it every month. I gotta tell you, this is part of the thing about repulsion marketing and keeping the people you don't want off of your list and out of your business. It's part of that. Because if someone doesn't want what you've got, you do not want to take their money. It's just, it's bad karma for your business. It's bad for you. It, they will start talking crap about you because you're taking the money and not giving them anything, even though it's not your fault. So always, always lead with telling people how to get away from you. 
And not only does it get rid of the people that really don't want to be there, but the people that do want to be there will appreciate it, and they'll know, they'll recognize that you are not needy at all, and you don't you don't have to try to trick people into giving you money. There it is. Watch out for those recurring payments. Make a schedule and give yourself an alert, or else you could end up like me, feeling all stupid and trying to get your money back. <laughs> That's all I got for now. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.